So what makes Kyle Kyle? Like, where did you grow up? How did you come to be who you are, the, like the man you are sitting here today? I grew up in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, I would say, I think what made me me was probably just like my church upbringing. Um, I was like a mama's boy, like a real, real hard mama's boy. Like, it was like bad. Like, I wouldn't leave her side. And, um, it's a good son. Yeah. yeah I, was, I was a good son. A good I, was, I was a good boy. Um, but, like, usually, like, they wouldn't allow kids to sit on the choir stand. But, like, everybody knew, just like, oh, I wasn't going to leave my mom's side. So, um, I, like, sat on the choir. And everybody, um, I don't know, I was just, like, on the choir at, at all the church services. And, that's kind of like what started me getting into music and just kind of like growing up in this random ass suburb of Charlotte. Um, but it wasn't that like developed, just so there wasn't a lot to do. So you had to make your own fun. So me and my friends always just did the most random shit. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, I would, I would say definitely like growing up in South Carolina, that kind of made Kyle. Wow. So like what was there, so besides like the church music, so church music is how you first started, like fell in love with music. Mm -hmm. So what other kind of influences did you have? I guess like church music turned into choir music. And so like I was like in the church choir, of course. And then um, that kind of translated when I went to schools, I was like always in some type of choir. Like I've been in choirs, like literally up until this year, you know, coronavirus, can't really do it. But um I guess like choir music and choral music was a big influence. Um, my my dad listened to a lot of funkadelic, and so like those are a lot of influences. And my mom kind of like listened to a lot of different stuff, a lot of radio stuff, and then a lot of gospel music because she loves gospel music. Um, and then the gospel music itself that we had in church, we like we didn't really have any instruments. It was all like acapella, but I feel like that that um, that made room for just a lot of a lot of like experimentation and a lot of like, I don't know, like we could be in the middle of a service and like somebody could start singing a song if they wanted to and then people just join in because it's just like that person wanted to sing that song, that's what they're feeling, like let them, let them do that and everybody would join in. And I thought that was that environment, like that, that really open and um, flowy environment. I feel like that was really cool. Was there like a certain memory, like exact memory or like a song that like a moment that you remember singing that you were like, this is, this is it. This is what I want to do. It was like a choir anniversary. Um, like we had a youth choir and then we had the adult choir and I was still like a kid. And I think it was like the first time I led a song and um, I don't know, just seeing how people reacted. And it was like my first time. I feel like you can, you can try to act like you're feeling the music and then like, I don't know, people like support you regardless. But like, I guess that was the first time I like felt what I was singing. Um, resonated yeah like resonated it was like spiritual so that was that was a big moment like making that spiritual connection it was more beyond just like what i was hearing but also what i was feeling so like what was the goal really with like this ep like what story were you trying to tell this new one yeah projectors. okay projectors yeah um it's basically about me having feelings for somebody not really telling them but um, kind of like letting myself tell them through these songs um, and kind of just like the, the hesitance of like being, being in those old patterns of just like creating these false ideas of love and not wanting to fall back into those old patterns. So like, like thinking I'm protecting myself by like not putting myself in a situation to be hurt, but also just like that ends up blocking something potentially that could be like really great and really beautiful um and so it's basically me like suppressing the feelings that i felt for this person and then projecting them onto the onto, into these songs um and then it like it wraps itself up at the end with this song called thank you for the moment and it's just like i don't know maybe like i wasn't ready and that's why i didn't tell you in the first place but or maybe I wasn't at the level of maturity I, th I think I needed to be, but I really appreciated like all the feelings that so you- So grateful for those experiences. Yeah, because like, we still like spent a lot of time together, like we had a great time and like maybe I'll tell this person, maybe I won't, we'll see, but thank you for the moment, you know? I love that, oh my goodness. That song is also beautiful. Thank you. Project. Oh my goodness. So what the cover art and everything is so like stylized, how 
Like what? Why? What? <laughs> I don't even know. How did you come into that like chrome mannequin and everything? That's insane. It was really. It was in um La Cervone. You, you know La Cervone, like Jake and all like their apartment. Thomas was like they had it in their apartment and like I remembered it there. Um, and we we like planned this shoot and then like last minute like threw the mannequin in. Um, Such and, a great addition, like last minute. Yeah, <laughs> um, because we knew we were going to be in the desert and like re like catch all those reflective surfaces and like really like capture like the different landscapes that were around. Um, and the, I don't know, the project's called Projectors. Like I think it serves as like a cool um, physical a cool representation of, of something to project yeah. onto. That's, and, yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, and we, we were like, we were noticing in the whole direction, like, I'm everywhere. Like, like in every cover, all the press shots, it's just me, 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 me. And then we thought for the EP cover, actual, like the actual EP cover itself, it would be cool to just like have the mannequin, like standing in and just like literally like something for the listener to project onto. So it's like, I'm not, I'm not trying to like force myself in the narrative, but like, I don't know, leave it up to interpretation. Um, because like, like, like I said, I'm like projecting onto these songs, but it's just like people, people might hear like softly and just like hear it as a love song. And it's like a really, really like, I don't know, happy, like dancey, vibey love song. But at the end you hear like, it's all a dream. And I don't know, like little things like that, will like, that's like my narrative in it. But I feel like having it up to interpretation, letting people put their own experiences onto the music. I feel like that was cool. Like you, like create like this journey for the people that listening through they start at one point and then by the end of the project you feel a completely different way mm -hmm. so you kind of took us like very well through how you're feeling like through those song sounds um Thank you. of course uh is there a song of yours that you feel like what's your favorite song of yours on the project yes um let me just ask you that um probably like are you in love uh that's like been the or is it false gold <laughs> you never know <laughs> So what's your, you've performed at like a couple of venues, mm -hmm. Peppermint, and in New York, right? Mm -hmm. So what's, what's been your favorite, like, performance? Favorite performance? Um, oh, it's hard. It was the house show. It was the first house show. Um, the one, I think I may have been. Like February? I think yes. you came. Yeah, yes. you came oh like towards, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, it was just like, it was, it was so, so DIY, like I literally like planned the whole thing and like I like got a lot of friends to help and like a lot of people pitched in and it was just crazy such, energy. Such good energy. Yeah. It was amazing. That was such like an atmosphere. Yeah. I don't know. It was it was it was a really good a really good feeling to like see that happen. It was just like people came out and it was just like I was a nobody at, at that point. Like I didn't have any any music out, so like nobody had anything to like like reference, reference yeah, yeah. and that just came in like I don't know, I feel like that just says a lot about the community um, of like art lovers around USC. Um, but yeah. And then the EP, all four songs, October 28th. Oh, no way. I thought it was coming out. I was like, wow, everyone gets to hear it next week. No, no. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yes. So they're not ready for this. Oh, they are, they are, they're not. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait for the world to hear this. And you really like. I'm, it's been amazing to see your progression as an artist because you've already you've always been like amazing and it's just great to see you having like honed your sound even more and come into yourself and like what music you're making now versus then and like I don't know it's been a really cool like thing to see your progression appreciate that yeah so I'm very excited I think you'll definitely emphasize yourself when you hear home cooking <laughs> 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 oh man so it's just rough but um, yeah it's, it's definitely been fun um I don't know. Every project, I feel like, is is a different period of. Um, it's a capsule of yeah. yourself. Yeah, and um, I feel like this one is like the most dynamic. I would say, especially just like everything that's happened in the past year. Like, really couldn't expect it, but um, I feel like I learned a lot about myself during this project. I feel like I've matured with this project, um, so I'm, I'm really glad to just almost be done with it. And share it to the world. Yeah. We're happy to hear it and I can't wait to bump it on the way back as well. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> thank you again for doing this. Of course, of course. Thanks for having me. Always. Conversations in the desert. <laughs>